Hi everybody and welcome to the Mental Toughness and Body Show. My name is Rob Evans and I'm your weight loss coach, health strategist and internationally published author, helping take your life, your business, your mindset, your body, your health from where you are right now to where it is that you want to be. And today I want to talk to you about a particular topic relating to COVID and whether you would change anything and just the adaptability of the human mindset and the, uh, the human spirit. Because Im- imagine this, if you, if you had the option of going through what you've gone through with COVID versus life would have just traveled on as normal this year, which option would you have picked? Now, I would, I would safely assume that most people would pick the, well, I would ignore, ignore COVID and go straight through to how life was going before. And I was just thinking about this a moment ago and like the, the reflex action would be, oh yeah, I'd you know, not have COVID. Now, before I, I go any further, I will preface this by saying I'm not talking about the, obviously the, all the, um, the deaths and the illnesses and uh, the disruption and everything has been horrific. So I'm not talking about it in that context, but I mean in terms of the journey that we have been taking through this crisis. And I think I would go through it. I'd go through the crisis because what this has shown me is, one, how resilient I am, how this is the biggest test that I've ever had in terms of a... Obviously, there's there's been other ones in terms of... Um, well, getting divorced, that was a, a huge one. And uh, you know, different relationship issues, financial issues that have come from time to time, the struggling, growing a business, all that kind of stuff. But I think something that has been outside of my control and been put upon me, there aren't many opportunities that we have in life, I don't think, where these things, as horrific as they are, are placed on us, but we become so much stronger by virtue of going through it, by living through the experience. And what it's done for me is proven to me that, yes, I'm tough. Yes, I'm resilient. Yes, I'm adaptable. Yes, I have learned how to do things during this pandemic that I never would have done before. So on the other side of this, I will be better off. I will have new products. I'll have new services. I have had more time to be creating these things as well, refreshing my whole outlook, taking a step back from where the business was to work on it rather than so much in it, even though I'm working in it still, but you know what I'm talking about. I've had more time to step back and work on it for the biggest amount of time ever since I've been running the business. And because of that fresh set of eyes, that forced time out, I've been able to adapt and look at things in just a completely different light. And that hasn't happened just overnight. That's taken like 32 years to get to that point where I felt confident to be able to conquer this. If it had have happened 20 years ago, well, 20 years ago, I probably would have been, um, you know, we would have had a dual income. I would have still been married. Uh, I still would have been in a corporate position. Uh, but if I was, say, in the business and I was doing this all by myself and I, I wasn't where I am now with my mind, I, I would be lost. I would be like a lot of other people on, and that is, you know, whining and complaining about the whole thing, just wishing it's over, thinking I'm bored every day and don't know what to do as opposed to going at it really hard and creating a pathway through this, a tunnel, if you like, through this of um, really quite direct action. And so I think when you look at the mindset of us humans, it's really amazing. And they say that we only use something like five or even 10% of our brain. And when we get put under pressure like this, it forces us to use other parts of our brain. Imagine if we were using 100% of our brain. My God, we would be on fire. And I think this has really proven something to me that we need to keep putting pressure on ourselves. We need to keep creating that COVID pressure beyond COVID 
so that we do keep coming up with these new ideas and we force ourselves to find a different way because we become lazy and we don't look for the alternative, we don't look for the innovation. Or we, maybe that's being a bit harsh. Maybe we look for the innovation, but we don't perhaps consider things that would be, I guess, right in front of us in a COVID sense. And if I use the example of uh, the online coaching that I do now, the live streaming of sessions and, and so forth, if I was trying to, so I've got clients in my local area, some I could open my window and just shout at them, they're that close. If I uh, tried to sell to them pre-COVID that they stay at home in their garage, I have a video link here and I coach them into their garage via their phone to do their session, they'd be like, why would I do that? It's like I come to your, you know, your studio, I'll do it there, uh, but I'm not going to do that. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't register because we haven't been thinking that that's a way that we would normally operate, like as a consumer or necessarily as an operator. But because we've been forced to do this, guess what? People are super grateful for the fact of the technology and that we can be coaching with them in their garage and me here, even though we're still close, but we can still get them some amazing results. And I'm doing, uh, so then from there, it's then, well, okay, if I can do that locally, I can do it interstate. I can do it anywhere in the world, anywhere where there's an internet connection, I can do that. So boom, there is a great option. The coaching uh, so I came up with uh, a coaching program, a couple of coaching programs, which previously I wouldn't have thought would be an easy thing for me to sell. But because COVID has put us into this position, people are just used to working with their health and fitness in a completely different way. And even though... I could have created those ideas before. Probably my mindset back then was, well, no one's going to buy this because they want, they just, they go to, people go to gyms. You know, they, they attend gyms, they, uh, they find a program, they follow a program. I could see that I could create a program that somebody would then follow. But for me to actually, uh, you know, coach them through the workout from one place, uh, you know, to another place in the world, um, I had some, brain fog around that but when I started doing it with people I thought this makes so much sense and they're so grateful for it so let's just keep on doing it and I think there's probably a few other examples like that that have only come about by virtue of the pandemic and I think if I was from my perspective wasn't forced into this position or what was the alternative I either do nothing and take in no income or I adapt, innovate, and do it quickly so that I don't take such a big hit to my income and, in fact, create some opportunity to grow the business. And uh, that's what I did. And that's all come about just because of the adaptability of the mindset. Now, there's plenty of people that do what I do that decided to do nothing during the pandemic and have gone and change career or just taking in uh, the government payments and so forth. But uh, that's just not in my, my makeup. And anyone that's just going to sit back and take the payments, clearly they don't run a, like a great business because a great business person doesn't have that mindset. So I think given the chance again, I'd probably go through it to get the growth. Now, do I want COVID to go on for years? Well, no, I don't. Um, I'm, I'm happy to be over and out of it. Uh, but on Sunday this weekend, we're going to have uh, some announcements with some rollbacks of uh, some of the restrictions. So, so I'll be able to tell you about those next week. You know, so that means that we can open up some things. Uh, but the studio will be still closed for another month at least. But... Uh, yeah, well, even if we, if we continue to go on, what I think is going to happen in, in our state is that we will open up again, we'll get to a stage where it explodes again, 
and they'll lock us down. And I do think that we'll be locked down by Christmas. So again, and I, I hope that I'm wrong, but that's my prediction. So we'll see. Um, so let's say that we did go for another six months or so in this, in this position, then uh, what that means is that I just keep working on other parts of the business. I just keep growing it in different ways. Uh, I come up with um, further ways to market what I do to uh, the, the community and um, you know, around, the, around Australia and around the globe to uh, grow my business that way. And who knows, that may be just the way of the future. I'm just coaching clients uh, via, you know, via the technology rather than doing the uh, you know, person to person type stuff. I mean, the results that I'm getting with coaching clients at the moment is phenomenal. Um, I'm, I'm loving the results that people are getting. The behavioral changes, the mindset changes are just really fantastic. And uh, this all points to the, uh, the success of Awaken the Sexy Within, uh, the, the book, uh, also Awaken the Sex, Sexy Within 60 Day Online Program. Uh, it all just points to the success of those and uh, how people are really grasping the concepts and implementing and for the first time in their life, really being focused and getting the fact that, yeah, this, this is really a good thing. Uh, so I'm really, really pleased with that. Uh, so if we keep going on for longer and longer, uh, you know, I'll be forced to, uh, to do more of that, in which case that my whole business model might just change. Who knows? The point is that if we don't put ourselves under some stress to force ourselves to find an innovative solution or uh, some innovative change, we stay the same. And that's what I like about COVID, as disturbing as that might sound. I like the fact that it's forced us to innovate and change and uh, grow as a result of it. Um, so I wonder what you think about all that. Uh, it's, it's curious. I think we're just, our minds are just so powerful. I, I just love understanding success and what drives people and uh, you know what drives me and how I keep improving every day. So um, yeah, that's my insight for today. So um, you stay safe wherever you are in the world and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.